Hello there, welcome to another episode of World of Warships with Ingeni Titan. And I'm probably going to make World of Warships a regular feature of the channel now, as in I'm going to probably devote a particular day and broadcast a World of Warships video on that day uh, on a regular basis. So that, and then I'll have maybe, so probably Tuesdays. Tuesdays is kind of what I'm aiming for. And I may make some other changes or whatever over time with the channel but in the meanwhile things will probably continue as they're on i'll probably do continue to do mondays wednesdays and fridays for the immediate future uh world of tanks and then thursdays is probably whatever i feel like doing just feel that i can get a reliable game at least with the samson um i've started playing the destroyer in uh random battles probably random battles and i'm finding that i'm reasonably effective that it's easy to be effective in a destroyer because all it takes is one or two torpedo hits and you have more or less done your fire for effect your points now i don't know you don't get a fire for effect in um world of warships i don't know if it's a, um, as, as important i'm not too sure you know uh there's a lot of stuff about the game a lot of nuances of the game that i couldn't say that i know much about i've only got still got 215 battles under my belt so i know a lot i'm a lot better at it probably than I was, well, certainly a lot better at it than I was since 215 battles into World of Tanks. The other thing, of course, is that um, 215 battles in terms of time in World of Warships is actually a lot longer than the equivalent in World of Tanks. That while World of Tanks battles can go on out to 15 minutes, 10 minutes, depending on, on, on uh, what is the assault mode. But they can generally they're 15 minute battles, but on practice, in my experience, they're mostly 7 or 8 minute battles, 8 or 9 minutes, whatever. Whereas in general, World of Warships battles are around 15 minutes. Uh, you'll rarely get a really quick battle. I've seen it happen, I mean, I've seen fight. well, I've had battles where I've been out in 5 minutes. But even in this particular battle, we're into the battle, we're, we're 2 minutes into the battle before we actually even make contact with the enemy. Um, uh, I don't know if I've seen I've I've seen videos I think of World of Tanks battles that were ended in under two minutes, usually by really fast capping. But I have don't know if I've actually witnessed it on the ex on the console myself in terms of played in a battle that was ended in that quickly. I mean I've been in battles where I've been knocked out in less than two minutes because artillery kicked me killed me coming out of the spawn point or a Death Star or something like that. Now I'm pretty certain there's a ton of things that I'm doing wrong here. Uh, one of the things that I do wrong, I know, I'm beginning to know, just watching the videos, playback again is good for just is for your experience. And one of the things that I notice that I'm doing wrong is that I'm spending too much time in torpedo mode when I should probably switch to gunnery um, in between because the, gun, the guns aren't bad and they will do damage at this tier particularly when you're in uh, a low against up against other low tier ships and i should be making a bit more use of that um but we're not doing too well at this point point in time we're actually a bit in the outnumber we ran into a substantial amount of the enemy fleet without our fleet being concentrated against them and well so far things aren't so bad but they're going to go rapidly downhill in the next few moments. We have run into a substantial portion of the enemy fleet over this end, and we are not very well set up to receive them in the sense that we had a couple of ships that were out of this end, and they're dead already. Um, so a lot of the ships that I came over with me are dead, and the main reason that I haven't taken uh, much fire already is that I've had these islands to hide behind and I've been taking advantage of that, but because I'm behind the islands as well, I haven't been um, perhaps as effective as I should be. I've managed to get in some one torpedo hit, is it? Two torpedo hits? And that's about it. We're about to lose a destroyer over there, and it's a bit of an extreme range, I think. Um, although if somebody comes around this side, you never know what people do, so sometimes it's often... It's often worth sending the torpedoes out, uh, especially if there's no danger of your own ships sailing into them. Um, I can send ones across the channel now over towards the other destroyer as well because the um, the other destroyer, just, you know, my own destroyer is gone. But I probably should again switch to gunnery a bit more and make more use of gunnery. Uh, 
in these fights that I'm making, that I'm doing. Now we've managed to get rid of one of the destroyers, uh, so we've managed to that makes things a lot easier because uh, he's, he was generating cover for his allies and he was an advanced scouting as well so he was on the edge of his own smoke screen he was spotting our ships and he was providing screening by his smoke screen from, uh, for his allied ships behind him so we have another destroyer here and we're engaged in a gunnery fight but we're not the only ones, there's cruisers and people at him as well and he's on fire so I think he, and he's slowing down, it looks like his engine's been hit. Um, that's usually the killer of destroyers at this level because unless you have a captain with the last stand skill, which I trained up as quickly as I could, your destroyer will just come to shuddering halt when you take engine damage or rudder damage and um, you're pretty much dead then. If you're dead in the water, you're dead. Because everybody makes a destroyer priority targets. They're such lethal beasts, they, uh, they have to be got rid of. But every, every opportunity, I would. If I was certainly in a cruiser, I would prioritize destroyers uh, over anything else because, first of all, you're more likely to be able to take them out. And secondly, if you uh, do take them out, you've taken out some very valuable ships on the enemy side because they're. They just pop up anywhere, they're fast, they're nimble, they can get close without being spotted. And quite a few of them can stealth torpedo. Now, I don't know if they can do it at this level, I don't. I can't. Uh, I'll get spotted before I get into torpedo range. I get spotted about eight and a half kilometers or something like that, and I get torpedo range is about five and a bit. But at this point, I thought, right, we've lost this side, and they're going chasing our ships. That if they stay chasing our ships, I can come into the central cap circle and capture it for our team. And if we can manage to not lose any ships and hang in there, uh, we might be able to at least recover some points from the capture process. The enemy are way ahead of us um, on points because they've been sinking a lot of our ships, uh, but we, uh, I just thought, right, well, let's get a bit tactical about this and try and play cleverly and see if I can pull it off or see if it makes a difference. So I get in, I'm undetected at the moment, so the whole point is to get this island between me and the enemy fleet and uh, see if I can capture Bravo before anybody interrupts me or finds out about me and um, it's actually quicker than I thought. I slow down to do it, but I could probably have um, maintained my speed and gone towards the further edge, which would have been a better tactic. Um, I mean, we could have stayed the course that I'm in, but just circled along the outer edge, so that when the enemy fleet did turn, and I mean, then pretty much immediately, there's already a battleship entering Charlie, and uh, he's in pursuit of me as much as anything else. They've actually sunk all our fleet that they could be in contact with. I think they, they I don't know if they can see the guy up on top of the northern edge of the map, but they certainly have sunk anybody else within reach. He's still alive. And there's our destroyer over the other end who is harassing a cruiser at that side over in Alpha. So well, I think my reasoning was sound enough coming in here to Charlie or to Bravo to capture it. I won't be able to defend it. There isn't enough of our fleet left to um hold them off so to speak or to to prevent them from recapturing uh, bravo behind me so we won't have the points advantage for long enough i think to make any kind of significant difference and i've already been spotted um i have managed to get the capture so they can't take the capture off of me but the thing is now i'm under a crossfire and we need to get rid of that ship in front of me he's the priority target i think so uh but I do have a battleship closing in behind me rather rapidly. So I thought, right, uh, we generate smoke, but I'm kind of slightly outrunning my smoke, and because I want to get out of his guns really is a bigger priority. And um, send some torpedoes in his direction, maybe they'll hit, maybe they won't. See if I can get around the island and actually torpedo this guy. Uh, I'd much rather use my torpedoes and the guy, the guy in the cruiser on this side that's, and do it when my destroyer is still alive my other destroyer um, I actually managed to get a torpedo hit on that uh, cruiser which is good um, however I think I made a mistake here I should have switched to gunnery straight away after launching the torpedoes and see if I could have finished off that cruiser because he's actually a much better shot than I am and that's it, he takes me out, he's already after taking out my comrade, and 
I was the last ship left alive, so I don't think I'd have won this game anyway. But I did 16,728 damage, which is almost twice my hit points. Um, came second of the team. Came ahead of some of the enemy team in experience. So yeah, 16,128 with 9,101 on the ship. So um, main battery did one. Got one hit in, we got three torpedo hits. Didn't do a lot of flooding. Everybody had their damage control up and available to run. So that is it for the Samsung and for World of Warships this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. If you have not already done so, please uh, subscribe to the channel. I will catch you all again soon. Bye for now.